Hey, it's Kate Stillman with Wellness Pro Academy, and I wanted to do a quick teaching on, on the importance of, of pruning. I was just gardening. I was just literally taking care of my little flower pots that are on my patios, and, and they just grow, you know, and grow and grow, and they have these beautiful flowers, and, and the flowers, you know, after they bloom, they, they die, right? And so what happens is there's lots of there's just lots of plant material that's like part dead, part alive, that just starts to lay around um, the pots, right? And so the, you know, and under the soil, there's all this deep, 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 deep roots uh, in there. And what happens is if we look at this in terms of business, so what I find with most, what I find with most wellness pros is that they hit and they hit a number of frustrations, uh, some of which usually in wellness pros don't like in general don't like, I. Uh, to look at their shadow issues in business. So shadow issues in, in business for wellness pros, if we were to give this a title, this is probably what the, the natural organic title would be. In these shadow issues, the way they present and what they actually, uh, what, what the actual solutions are, or what they actually are uncovering, um, are often two really different things than what the when, than what the wellness pro thinks is going on. So the way they present is um, client issues. So I was talking with a uh, wellness pro yesterday, and she was telling me about all these client issues. And the client issues were really around commitment, their commitment, um, and then processes, including like how they schedule um, cancellations and and. A, you know, just how, uh, how much more hand-holding they needed to work with her system effectively is what I was hearing. So, you know, the, how they present, and actually, before we get to solutions, we'll park solutions, and we'll just go into the real problem. So when I asked her a number of questions uh, about these client issues, the commitment and the scheduling, what I saw right away was there was an issue in the offer, uh, the, the, the offer and the commitment around the offer were not crystal clear. And so this is going to create just a lot of, a lot of glass ceiling. So what is glass ceiling? It's like, here you are and you're doing work in the world. You're exchanging with all your people, right? And, and your efforts going one way and what's coming back is, is money, right? So there's actually a financial exchange taking place. And all, all of when this happens and there's there's money involved, this means that um, we're in a process with an offer and sales. So if that money is being exchanged, or for those of you who have a sliding scale, or those of you who are doing um, work trades to some degree, uh, there's there's still there's still something being exchanged. So there's there's an offer, um, which means we're in the we're in the realm of sales. Right. So what was happening over here is that her offer was not uh, it, her offer was not giving her what she wanted in terms of the client commitment, in terms of her being able to follow simple systems, uh, which is often called operations in business language. Right. We're talking about business. So how does this translate through operations? If you're wondering about my handwriting, I learned to type, I think, before I really learned to write. And so um, that's part of the problem that we're dealing with here. <laughs> Please bear with me. All right. So I was gardening this morning, right? And I'm dealing with my, um, I'm dealing with my pots. And there's, this really speaks to what happens is there's like all this, there's all this growth, but then there's also things dying. You know, leaves are dying. It's that time of year. Um, some of the flowers are dying, and then some of the flowers are really just in budding. And what is what have what do all these things have to do with each other? Well, what happens is is as you mature as a wellness pro, which is really different than starting out. So as you mature as a wellness pro, what happens is you know here you are. Here's the um, your 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 little seed, and you're putting down roots, and you're putting up a stock, and you're starting to exchange money in the marketplace, right? You're starting to charge for your services. Uh, maybe you're selling goods as well. So it might be goods and services that are hopefully transformational experiences. And then what often happens is you'll start like another income stream. You'll start doing something that's related. Maybe you'll start doing events or maybe you'll start doing retreats or maybe you'll start doing one-on-ones and you only did group classes before you were doing 
group classes, or yeah, and vice versa, right? You were doing group classes, and I started doing one-on-ones. In any case, you start to develop a number of different ways of exchanging in the marketplace. So as you mature as a wellness pro, it's this naturally starts to happen, right? With all the uh, with all the accoutrements, without the flowering accoutrements. But the problem is, um, you're going to hit an income glass ceiling. So this is the glass ceiling. That's what this thing is, right? And, and here you are. You're standing on the ground, but you're hitting your head on the ceiling. And there's really a lot more money on the other side of the glass ceiling. But what there also is on the other side of the glass ceiling, and you got it, you knew it, you guys saw it coming, is there's better systems, there's more committed clients, and there's a more, there's a more, there's a more better, there's a more better offer. You have a more better offer, and it all relies, really, the real problem behind all of this stuff, offer commitment, this stuff has everything to do, this is a sales issue. And most, it was interesting with this wellness pro I was talking with, she's like, I don't do sales. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's the problem, <laughs> right? So we have, sometimes for us, is like sales is, you know, and sales is a four-letter word. I personally prefer the four-letter words. Um, but when sales is a, it's a bad word, when we've labeled this, then it's clearly when, we're, when, when we have that kind of response to sales, and yet we are selling, we are exchanging, right? This is happening, uh, but we, we're not willing to do the real work around sales, the shadow work around sales. That means that sales is, is the shadow issue, which means usually we won't prune, right? We won't do what I did this morning, which was like, I got in here and I went and extracted like all, all the brown material, right? I just took off all the deadheads. Those of you who are gardeners, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I took out all the deadheads. This is not going to let me do this the way I want to do this. I took out all the dead plant matter, right? And I even took off, I even took off some of the flowers. I even, right, took some of the flowers that looked like they were dying. I took those, I took those out, right? And why did I do that? Well, I wanted to grow the few things that were like really going to go into surge next. I wanted to give them air, water, access to more resources. I wanted their roots to get stronger uh, for the next growth cycle. And then what did I do with all the, and this is what's to me, you know, this is how nature works. Uh, what did I do? I went to my compost and I put all of all the dead material, the de decaying material, into the compost. Right. So what does this do? What does this mean? What are we really talking about here? Well, a lot of the income streams that you have grown along the way, a lot of these different income streams, right, if you actually have a better offer, they get packaged. They get packaged into a better offer. And then what happens with all the stuff that's left over that you're like, I don't know if I should do that anymore. Um, that actually, it either will, it'll either just give you energy. So compost is the energy and the ecosystem of the next cycle. For those who understand gardening, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? That's exactly what happens is you get the energy and the e ecosystem of the next cycle. What that often means for the wellness pro is by simply pruning back, like you can see like, this pot now looks clean and clear, right? And it actually, it looks really beautiful. Those of you who deadhead your flower beds and you clear out the waste and you see all of a sudden, like in like 15 minutes, it can go from looking like really sort of haggard to looking vibrant, vibrant, because there's only new life surging now in the pot. Everything else is going into the next energetic cycle. And this happens to you physically, that you, instead of having your energy going in all these different directions where there's issues, where there's all of these client issues, right? Where there's all of these client issues around commitment, around scheduling, around, you know, there was even for her, there was issues around people paying on time. There were issues around um, how long clients, and more around commitment, but like basically like how long, how long clients would uh, work with her for. And then also like how committed and how ready they would be, those are all commitment issues, how ready they would be when it was time to do the work and how much work they would do in between sessions. Now at Wellness Pro Academy, we model the way for everything um, that we teach because I know it's like, yeah, you know, theory is one thing, practice is another. So Club Thrive is our, this is our, this is our test group. 
and it used to be Body Thrive. We had Body Thrive for a decade. We had a test group for a decade. We ran 10 years of experiments with what happens when we actually deal with our sales issues, what happens when we have a strong offer, strong commitment, and very simple, elegant systems and operations, right? So the real problems really lead to the real solutions because once you solve for these things, what happens is you break through the income glass ceiling, which remember is also the commitment glass ceiling, and you make your way to money, you make your way to better commitment, and there's efficiency, which means that I have a pretty open schedule. I have a lot of energy to garden, to think, to write books, to be with my customers, my clients, uh, and, and to help them have massive transformation in, uh, in a really committed container. Okay, so Club Thrive is our test group. And what we notice is because we deal with all the sales issues, we deal with having a strong offer, we build really good, elegant systems around that, you know, this is where our, our people, Club Thrive's global and online. So we've got people from all over the world. We do two, two main things in, in Club Thrive. And I coach wellness pros how to do this in Wellness Pro Academy, how to create your own club that's based on your own core competencies, that is based on your wellness expertise, uh, so core competencies, your vibe, and your habits. So my habits are primal. You can read my book, Primal Habits, on Amazon. And that grew out of my prior book, Body Thrive, which is also on, on Amazon. OK, so what do we do in the Club Thrive test group is we do primal habits. And then we do what I call strategic life design. So these are the two things that we do in Club Thrive, primal habits. And for some people come into Club Thrive and they need to heal. And that's, you know, at least 75% of people are coming in to heal. We take people with very scary diagnosis, the scariest diagnosis, like in terms of like terminal cancer. Uh, we take people with auto, four autoimmune diseases all stacked up on top of each other, long haul COVID or vaccine injury. We take all sorts of people into Club Thrive that need to heal. And then we also, and then with Primal Habits, we also take the biohackers. And I put the yogis now in the biohacker category. So they're just super curious about like what's going on in my test group. And they're like, give me, that looks like fest group. It's, um, it is a festival in there, but it's also a test group. So we get biohackers in there uh, as well. And we, we purposefully attract in people that have, that need to heal and and the biohackers, and they, they're a really amazing mix, right? These two together, they learn so much from each other. Okay, on the strategic life design, this is where we take in people who are just wanting to take their life to the next level, whether that's with their family, whether that's with themselves as, a, um, as like a corporate, uh, and sometimes they say corporate ladder climber, which isn't really nice, but um, it's someone who really wants to get ahead and make a change within a larger organization. Uh, sometimes it's just trying to figure out exactly who are you and what is the life you want to live and what is your next purpose, dharma, mission. And I have a book on that as well. So that, that book is Master of You, and this is also on Amazon. The books behind Primal Habits are Body Thrive and then, and then Primal Habits. So the reason I'm telling you that is so that you can see, you know, those are my personal areas of expertise as a wellness pro. In Club Thrive, this is my test group for where I model the way for clubs as a wellness pro because it's, clubs really are, make a, it, it just makes it so much easier to work both one-on-one -on -one and, and as a group and get so much more efficiency. And efficiency is really big for me. If we can help someone heal efficiently, that is better. Energy efficiency has a lot to do with, with healing. Um, so getting somewhere to way better faster is better to then getting to somewhere way better way slower. For example, like if you're carrying an extra 50 pounds and it takes you six months to, or a year to clear the weight as opposed to 10 years to clear the weight, it's better. You just have way more life force for those other nine years of your life. Same thing with people healing from long haul COVID. If we can help them clear their symptoms within six months, that's better than if it takes three years. Uh, the club, the way that we run club is it's year long Everyone's committed in there for a year because we're going to not just deal with, you know, whatever's happening underneath the scenes for healing, but also get them into strategic life design, right? Because at that point, they're so much more in, in the driver's seat of their life. Okay, so that's how, our, that's how our club works. Now, if we go back to the shadow issues in business for wellness pros, because 
the way that they have been working is they still have compost in their garden bed. And this means actually there's a, too much competition for the new life. There's, meaning the new initiatives you have, the new way, the, your new offer, the next level commitment you want, the next level systems and operation you want are actually bogged down by the having all the old ways of working in here. And I've had to reinvent myself so many times. Like I had to reinvent Club Thrive out of Body Thrive a year ago because we went from the habits of Ayurveda and yoga to those and the habits of primal, the habits that we had before before culture, and I needed to reinvent. And so what did I have to do? I had to, get all the, I had to get all the compost out of the garden bed and put it into the compost bin. I had to free myself up. I had to do that repetitively as a wellness pro, right? So like different iterations in my own maturation process as a wellness pro. First of all, I was a practitioner. I was an Ayurvedic medicine practitioner. And in that, a subset of practitioner was, was Panchakarma, which is detox. I was a specialist in, in detox, right? So then I was also a yoga teacher. And then I'd also lead retreats. And then I'd also do private retreats. So one-on-one, -on -one, high-end, one-on-one private retreats. And that was actually became 30% of my income at, at one point. And then... What else did I do? I did, and then I started to do like an online club. It was a course called Ayurvedic Living Course, but it operated more like a club. That was back in 2007. So practitioner was 2002. Yoga teacher was also from, like I, I, in my training, it was like 1999 to 2002. I did those simultaneously. I started offering retreats and trainings. We did a lot of hardcore yoga trainings back in the day. That was through 2010. One, on one retreats, 2002 to 2012, maybe, I think a solid decade, online courses and, and, and clubs in 2007. And what did I discover? I discovered I wanted to grow two things. Two things were how I could make the most change. This and this. So detox and online courses. So I had to prune. And I had to actually, and, and not a lot of people talk about this, but when you're cutting out, like when you're pruning 30% of your income, right? When you're actually Xing that out, I'm going to put it in gray. I think it'll be easier to still see what's underneath it. But I had to take this out. I had to take out these yoga trainings. I had to take out being a one, doing one-on-one -on -one as a practitioner. Uh, and for years, I actually took out retreats. And now I brought them back. I brought that back them for my club members. So I had to prune all that out in order to grow these, these two things. So I had to revise the offer. I then had to deal with sales because my offer was more than, if your offer is more than a couple thousand dollars, it's really if it's more than, I, at this point in time, I find if it's more than $500, you need to, have a con, you need to get good at conversational sales. Right? And with offer, you have to be really clear what is the exchange in terms of the money and the commitment and the end result. Like what exactly is the end result? And you're both crystal clear. So I don't bring a member into my club until we're both crystal clear on what is the end result that they are looking for, that we're saying like a year from now, this is winning. This is, you'd be like, that was amazing. That was the best investment of my life. What exactly is that? What exactly are the metrics of that? And a lot of you are like, I can't measure it that way. It's like, no, you're just too lazy to do this. You're actually, this is a shadow issue for you. We already have shadow on this page. I'm just going to highlight it. Right? How do you know something's a shadow issue for you? It's like you hear someone like me say something and you defend your old way of doing things. And the more defensive you get, yeah, I know, you guys are super smart, you know. Like the more defensive you get, the deeper of a shadow issue it is. The more I am challenging your beliefs and yet you keep hitting your own glass ceiling, you keep complaining. And if you find like, what are you bitching and moaning about? Bitching and moaning right? What are you bitching and moaning about, about your clients and their commitment and scheduling and cancellations and payment, or you not having enough time, or you being too busy to focus on what you really want to focus on, or you actually sacrificing your habits, your habits to earn the kind of income that you're currently earning. That is so no good for, that's how you know you're clearly in the shadow issues for wellness pros. And it doesn't matter if you're like, you know, if you're a functional medicine doctor and you're running a clinic with 10 employees, or if you're, uh, you know, solo, you're a solo, you're a solopreneur, you know, either you're solo wellness pro, either way, it can hit you either way. All right, so I hope that this is helpful because this is where I'm just going to show you how, how Wellness Pro Academy is structured, 
Not so that you're like, oh my gosh, I need to get in there right now, but just so that you know, like this is how we cure these issues. I've been coaching wellness pros since, oh, I, I'm gonna bring you inside the group here, inside, this is what it looks like inside Wellness, wellness Pro Academy. I just wanna show you in the, um, see sales is no longer a dirty word with our people. They're like, yeah, I'm gonna get good at sales. Cause that just means you get good at your offer, good at commitment with your clients. It's this simple. Like this is our classroom. These are the core competencies that break through, that break through the glass ceiling is core one, mindset, your club, your offer, to build your club, sales, leads, wellness coaching, and systems. So for some of you, you might not be sold on the concept of club, that's fine. And you can actually go through Lead Your Club. If you send an email to curious at wellnesspro.academy and say, hey, I want access to Lead Your Club, they'll send you a promo code, because it's 500 bucks, but they'll send you a promo code and give you a screaming freaking deal on it. Like, you'll, they'll get you down to like 37 bucks on that. Uh, and you can go through all, all of this to see how much money you're actually leaving on the table. You'll see where you are in terms of your glass ceiling. You'll see all your beliefs and stuff come up around it and we'll actually coach you in this. You actually get one-on-one -on -one coaching in Lead Your Club to just start to see what kind of like reversing engineer decisions you'd have to get to in order to really streamline and systemize your, your wellness business. Uh, all right, so what I wanna show you in here is when things are competencies for a group, and if, you're in a, if you are a wellness pro, like that's WP, that's what that stands for, WP is wellness pro, is when you're a wellness pro, you have typical issues. So many people come to us and they, they don't have issues with sales because they've already been in sales or they're like me, they're just kind of more natural in terms of sales, uh, but they have issues with leads. Other people, they come in and they come in from corporate, they're actually really good in systems and they're really good in leads because they have tons of connections. They have a super strong network, but they need a lot of work in coaching and they often need a lot of work in sales. Others of you come in, you have no problem with your club. Like you've been working with people for so long, you're like, I just wish my clients actually had these habits. They had this level of commitment. I love working with a group of people and I love working one-on-one -on -one, and I'm super strong in coaching and I'm super strong in club and mindset and offer, but I need, I definitely need a simple system in terms of sales and leads in order to make this whole thing work together. All right, so that's why that's structured that way is that these are the core issues that wellness pros have. Um, and these are the core shadow issues. And it honestly, if you're having issues with your clients, commitment, schedule, payment, uh, if you're having issues hitting your, you keep hitting your head on, the, on your own glass ceiling, meaning you're not able to make more money in less time and get better client results year over year. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat that sentence. You're not able to make more money in less time with stronger client commitment, and I'll even add, and simpler systems year over year than you have shadow issues in business. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Again, if you want access to Lead Your Club, we'll give you a super screaming deal. Uh, and it's about a four hour commitment in Lead Your Club, so don't get it, don't get it from us at a deal if you don't wanna put in four hours into breaking through your shadow issues. Uh, seriously, like just go for a hike and do something more, more self rejuvenating. But if you are super serious about like, I'm over, I'm over the glass ceiling, Kate, like I would really like to double my income. I would really like to have efficiency in my system. I'd really actually like to work with super committed clients and get them to better results faster within a container that it feels so good to all of us, then um, come, it's super fun. You'll learn so much. People say about Lead Your Club, they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they do this. Um, at this, you know, basically at this promo price because it's so freaking helpful. It's so helpful for wellness pros to talk to business wellness pros about business. All right, that's it. Thanks for listening. This is Kate at Wellness Pro Academy.